Just made it to work, running kind of late, gotta go. But good morning, guys. I just got home from work. Um, I went in at nine o'clock this morning and I didn't get out until nine o'clock tonight. So there's obviously nothing to be put in this vlog today because I cannot film at work. Um, a, that would be a violation of employee customer privacy. Um, and B, I, it would be a violation of my own privacy because I don't feel comfortable sharing where I work with YouTube. So there's nothing for me to put on today and I am no longer going to be pushing myself so hard to get content out on days that I literally work the entire day because lately it's been like I'll work a full 12 hour day, I won't have anything filmed, so I'll come home, I'll film something, I'll edit it, and then I'll be up until five o'clock in the morning, get three hours of sleep, and then have to do it all over again. So I literally don't even feel like myself lately because I'm so exhausted. Um, and I don't wanna be like that. Um, that's not what Vlogmas is about. Vlogmas is about sharing your joy and the fun and great times of Christmas. I'm definitely gonna cut back a little bit um, just on my really harsh working days. I'm definitely for sure still doing Vlogmas. Do not be scared of that. I'm not gonna quit. Um, I've had a lot of people tell me that I'm too exhausted and I've got too much on my plate and that I should quit doing it, but I'm not going to because I committed to it and I am dedicated. I'm not gonna just drop out on you guys after I promised that I would do this. Um, plus, I am just so happy to be back on YouTube. Even though I've been so exhausted, it has brought me so, so much joy. I can't even explain just how happy it makes me feel to be back on YouTube. But anyway, so this little clip is going to be edited into tomorrow's vlog, um, and I don't work again until Friday. Thank you, Jesus, I don't work again until Friday. So tomorrow, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I'm gonna catch up on my sleep. Um, so if I sleep until 5 p.m., I sleep until 5 p.m., that's cool. So just whenever I wake up is when I'm gonna start filming. I'm either gonna do a plant update or another speed painting just because I have to get that finished for class. For now, I am going to go take a shower because I feel disgusting. Um, and go to bed because I'm exhausted and sleep until whenever I wake up. So thank you guys so much for watching this little clip. Um, I will be vlogging tomorrow. I will see you guys then. I love you so very extremely super duper much and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Today is Vlogmas Day 16 and I told y'all last night that I would most likely be doing either an oil painting or a plant tour for you guys um, or slash plant update. Obviously, I've decided to go with the latter, but real quick before I get into the plant update, I do want to let y'all know um, that I haven't done anything today. <laughs> I did sleep um, until... 2.30 today, so I did get really caught up on my sleep, which is good because I just um, looked at my schedule today and was looking over like when all of the holiday parties are and when I have to work around that and when I have to have presents bought and wrapped and delivered by. So that's basically all I've done today is plan for Christmas. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get on into this plant update. I'm going to do the classic, maybe Milena style plant update and start with the smallest plants and move upward. So here we have my little friend Samuel. Yes, I named him Samuel. This little guy is uh, quite new to the family. I bought him from Lowe's and he is just a little air plant um, and he came in this cute little pot. He hasn't really grown much since I got him that I can tell just because he's so small it's kind of hard to tell if he did grow or not um, but he hasn't really done much with me. He hasn't given me any issues. I just spray him with water every once in a while and he chills on my shelf so this is probably my favorite plant. He 
is so easy to take care of and he's so stinking cute. The next plant that I am going to show you guys is the Silver Falls. I got this one um, just recently at a farmer's market um, and it has grown quite a bit. It's very, very long, but it also has died quite a bit and I don't understand how it's done both in the same time frame. Like, it's not like it grew and then started dying or started dying and then started growing. It kind of was doing both at the same time, so I don't understand. And also, it was supposed to be an outdoor plant, but it said that it could be grown indoors um, with bright light and plenty of water. And I've done exactly as I was supposed to, and it's still dying. So, we've got several dead and just droopy leaves in here. Um, I think I might just need to repot this one, and it might be looking better after that. It might just need some more space. So if y'all know anything about the Silver Falls plant, then please comment down below and let me know if there are any tips or suggestions that you have for me to get this baby looking back to life. Next, I'm gonna show you guys a plant that y'all have known for a very long time. Um, this is my snake plant slash mother-in-law's tongue. Um, she is doing pretty good. She did have a very rough time for a little while. Um, in the transition of moving from my old apartment to this apartment, I left several of my plants behind because I thought that I would be staying in that apartment until the lease was up, which was like several months later. But then I was just really fed up with my roommates over there and just there was a bunch of stuff going on. I much rather would have went ahead and moved here. So I did somewhat. I basically slept on the couch here for like several months before I even decided, oh, hey, I might want to start moving some things and buy some furniture for my bedroom. But anyway, a lot of my plants got neglected at that time because it was just a very stressful situation and I thought that I would be going over to the apartment more often, but I just didn't. So she lost a few pieces of herself, but she's definitely doing a lot better now. Um, she has a lot of new growth. Let's see, this is growing a lot more. Um, and then we've got some little sprouts coming up in here too. So she's doing pretty good. I'm really proud of her for bouncing back from what she's been through. Next, I'm going to show you this random plant. Um, I have no clue what it's called, and y'all probably couldn't even identify it on camera because obviously this one's dying too. Honestly, once again, I don't know what happened with this one. I don't. I watered it, I gave it plenty of sunlight, it was looking good, and then out of nowhere it just started losing leaves. At first it was just like shedding leaves, but now it's like overflowing, all of its leaves are crumbling off, um, making a huge mess. And honestly, I don't even know if I want to bring this one back to life just because it's been a mess maker, worse than my fern. And my fern has always been a mess maker. But this one, just from sitting this plant on the bed for about five minutes, the bed is covered in leaves. Next, I have another one that you guys have known for even longer. Oh my goodness, I can't even believe this, y'all. Like, this plant has shown more growth than any of my plants ever. And that would be my aloe plant. Y'all, do you remember that tiny little baby aloe plant? And now we have a huge mama and three big children. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I didn't even notice until this video, but actually it's four. So we have mama and one, two, three, and four baby plants. As you can see, it's gotten so big that it cannot support itself. I've had it um, propped up against the 
frame of my bookshelf over there so that it doesn't topple over. Um, but this thing has gotten massive and I've not done much of anything to it. I rarely ever even remember to water this one if I'm honest. So I'm so shocked at how amazing it has done for me. So I cannot wait to tell you guys, I got my dream plant from the farmer's market a couple of months ago and it is doing quite well in my care and that would be the fiddle leaf fig. I've always wanted this plant but they're always so expensive like you see those huge ones that are gorgeous and every Pinterest model and YouTuber that likes plants and everybody and their mama has this plant but the big ones can be like hundreds of dollars so I picked up this little baby for like 30 bucks at the farmers market and she has done pretty well in my care um, I watched so many YouTube videos on how to take care of these when I first got it um, just because they are expensive so I didn't want to kill it and also it's my dream plant so I didn't want to kill it and I've also just heard that they're hard to take care of so I wanted to make sure that I was taking care of this one 100% correctly I did see that they said that when you first move them into your home that it's inevitable that they're gonna start losing um, their lower leaves but I've had this one in my house for several months now and I haven't lost a single one of these guys even this tiny little baby down here is hanging on and none of the leaves look dry none of them have crumbled I haven't seen any droopiness um, everything looks absolutely amazing so I'm very stunned at how well I've taken care of this so far because I have heard that they are very picky picky plants so now we're gonna move on up to the bigger plants um, first things first we're going to go with my old-time favorite my fern this gal is another one that suffered in the losses from the moving um, she had pretty much completely died um, there was barely any green left in her it was so many brown pieces um, it took probably three or four times of cutting it back and cutting it back and cutting it back cutting off all of the dead pieces cutting anything that looked any bit droopy and this is what we're working with now um, she definitely has a lot of new growth you see all of these little pieces that are sticking up those are new pieces that are growing upward towards the Sun um, so this one is looking really good right now she's grown a lot in these past couple of months and I've always just loved this plant she's so big and funky so I hope to always have her around and now for my pothos I just recently got um, this pothos at Lowe's that was probably two or three months ago and I've had a pothos before it was the it wasn't like the classic ones it was um I'll insert a clip here if I can find one but it's definitely been in one of my old videos um, but I definitely killed the heck out of that one um, it got root rot so it died so I was really afraid to get another pothos. My mom's pothos was doing so, so good. And it seemed to be pretty easy to take care of. So I decided that I would buy Jacob a pothos for Christmas last year and see how he did with it. And his pothos is doing amazing. So I was finally like, hmm, if my mom, who before the pothos had zero green thumb and Jacob who was kind of new to plants at the time um, could take care of it then I definitely could because I've been taking care of plants for years now so 
I finally settled down and bought a pothos and so far so good um, she has grown a lot if you guys want a plant that grows pretty fast get you a pothos they will take over your room your apartment um, and all they really need is good sunlight and quite a bit of water but we have lost a few leaves that's kind of normal with a pothos I believe though um, and we do have some browning at the edge of some leaves and I believe that's just from where I didn't water it enough but overall I think I'm doing pretty good um, at being a new plant mom to a pothos she has grown so so much and I'm so excited to see where she goes in the future and lastly for my plants here at my home we have my white bird of paradise and it is obviously too massive to bring over here on the bed with me and show you guys so I took a few clips of it for y'all to see on screen this one has suffered the absolute most damage from the move um, and that is because it was so big I could no longer fit it in the front seat of my car and honestly I was like I'm gonna get a pickup truck I put the white bird of paradise in the back of it the wind just ruffled the leaves tore it apart and it was still doing okay it was still gonna keep growing it was still gonna be a lively plant until my two little mischievous black fur balls my kittens Luna and Umbra decided to team up and attack it I woke up to broken stems of a white bird of paradise so that's what happened to the white bird of paradise eventually the broken stemmed leaves um, ended up falling off then I thought that I had some hope it started growing a new leaf the weight of it made it snap so now even the new leaf has a bent arm and I'm really upset y'all know that this was one of my favorite plants and I've had it for a long time and now it's basically dead okay so now I'm going to start giving y'all a few little updates on my plants from back home my precious sister filmed a few clips of my plants back home for me so I could give a little update on those so I've just got my laptop sitting in my lap right here so that I can see the videos that she sent me so the first one that I am going to start with is the ogre's ear it is doing pretty good um, my mom keeps telling me that all of the desk plants need to be repotted she thinks that they're um, crowded and she's probably right honestly because these have been in the same pot since I bought them just about the ogre's ear does have a little bit of dying sections um, it's definitely not as full as it used to be so yeah I might need to go home on Christmas break and do some repotting up next we have my little cactus it came in a group of four almost immediately shrunk down to three because the fourth one had root rot and then of course not too long after number three and number two fell to root rot once again um, so I thought that this plant was gonna die of root rot completely but somehow still to this day we have one little cactus left and she has grown and grown and grown and now she is growing babies out of the sides up next is the succulent that I always think is dying <laughs> so this one hasn't grown too terribly much since my last plant update the sprouts have grown upward and outward some more um, I wouldn't say that it has any new growth but it has just shot up some um, once again it probably hasn't grown that very much just because it needs to be repotted so yes mom you're right I need to repot these plants I'll bring some pots over Christmas break and get these babies fixed up up next we have the ZZ plant and y'all know that I kind of struggled with this plant just being very stagnant it didn't grow very much for me so this one 
my mom has actually done very spectacular on and it has grown a whole new section. Um, I believe we did have to cut out a little piece of it um, because it died, but now we have a whole new piece that's just growing upward and outward, a whole new leaf, and I've never seen this plant grow anything new at all, point blank, period. So to see it grow a whole new stem with a whole new leaf, is absolutely stunning and I say bravo mom. So now we have the actual oldest plant that I own. I got this cactus um, way before any of the other plants. It's kind of been another one that's a little bit stagnant in its growth but once again mom you did good. This plant has sprouted so many new little cactus arms, tiny little babies, it is growing spectacularly, like beautiful. And once again, we have another pat on the back for my mother. As y'all know, I struggled very hard with the Dracenia lemon lime. Now that it's in my mom's care, somehow it's just started to grow a lot. Okay guys, so that is the last of the plants that I have for this plant update. Um, I hope you guys have really enjoyed this video. I know that this one has been requested several times by several different people. So thank you guys so much for leaving requests in the comments. Obviously, I come through with y'all's requests. I look at these things. So make sure that you comment down below in the description what you guys want to see next, especially for Vlogmas. But this video is getting so, so long. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I love you guys so, so very, extremely, super duper much. Good night, guys.